Hi, I'm John Burton, designer of Weasel, a domino game for two players. This is a strategic head-to-head -head matchup with hidden scoring conditions where figuring out and foiling your opponent's strategy is just as important as building your own scoring opportunities. Let's see how to play. All you need to play a game of Weasel is a double six domino set and a printout of the game board. A PDF of the full rules and the game board are available to download in the link below. The object of Weasel is to score more points than your opponent by strategically placing or swapping dominoes on the grid, then using the last two dominoes in your hand to claim rows of the grid for scoring. To start a game of Weasel, shovel the dominoes face down, then each player draws a single domino and places it in one of the two grid spaces in the center. The player with the highest domino will go first. In the case of a tie, the domino with the single largest number on it goes first. In this example, player 1 drew the 6-3, which is higher than player 2's 5 blank domino, so player 1 goes first. Each player takes 8 dominoes to start their hand. The rest of the dominoes are left in a draw pile known as the boneyard. The dominoes here are face up for you to see, but in an actual game, players keep their dominoes hidden from each other. On a turn, a player can do one of two things. Either they can place and draw dominoes, or they can discard and swap dominoes. When placing a domino on the grid, the domino must fit within the grid lines, it must be touching another domino, and at least one number on that domino must be touching a matching number on the domino it is next to. So in this example, player 1 placed the 3-1 next to the 3-6, making sure the two 3s touch. To finish the turn, player 1 draws one domino into their hand. Player 2 will play next by placing the 6 blank next to the 5 blank, making the two blanks touch, and will then draw a domino. Players can continue to place dominoes, or they can do the second option, which is discarding and swapping. On this turn, player 1 will discard and swap. To do so, they choose any domino from their hand and place it face down in their discard pile. Then they select a domino on the grid and either swap it with another domino on the grid itself, or swap it with a domino in that player's hand. In this example, player 1 will discard the 6-2, then swap the 2 blank with the 4 blank in their hand. Anytime a domino is swapped, all the dominoes must still follow the rules of domino placement, where at least one number is touching another matching number on a different domino. After discarding, players do not draw another domino. Their hand is now permanently one domino smaller. On this turn, player 2 decides to discard from their hand and swap the 6 blank with the 4 blank. When swapping, players are only allowed to swap free dominoes. These are the dominoes that can slide easily out of the grid without disturbing other dominoes. Any dominoes covered on all four sides cannot be swapped. Also, the center 2 dominoes can never be swapped, even if they're not covered. Here are some additional rules to follow during gameplay. Click the link in the description below for a PDF copy of the rules. Your hand can never be less than two dominoes. The last two dominoes in your hand are used for scoring at the end. If the boneyard runs out of dominoes, continue playing, but you do not draw after placing. You cannot place a domino that would surround an empty spot on the grid. If you can make a legal move on your turn, then you must make a move. If there's no legal move you can take, you must discard a domino to end your turn, unless that would leave you with less than two dominoes in your hand. All right, let's get back to the game. Moving ahead to the end of the game, player one fills in that last empty grid space. At this point, each player can make one more legal discard and swap if they want to, but they do not have to. Then the players discard all but two of their remaining dominoes for the scoring round. The last two dominoes in the player's hands are called the scoring dominoes. At this final stage of the game, each player places their two dominoes along the outside of the grid to signify which row they want to score. Rows can be horizontal, vertical, or even diagonal at the corners. Each one of these scoring dominoes scores in two different ways, digging a burrow and finding a weasel. Digging a burrow scores along the row, starting at the first number that matches one of the numbers on the scoring domino, and ends at the furthest number matching the other number on the scoring domino, scoring one point for each number within this burrow. Here, player one placed the four five at this row. The first matching number is four, and the furthest matching number is five. There are six numbers in between, so the burrow is six numbers long, meaning it scores six points. The rest of the burrows from player 1 and player 2 are highlighted here. 
Finding a weasel scores by finding the longest connected group of numbers that match at least one of the scoring domino numbers and has at least one number in that burrow row, but it could also continue outside of the burrow as well. So player one here has a weasel where the five from the five four matches a group of five touching fives scoring five points for the weasel. Now player two has a weasel matching the blank on the blank one that is a group of six touching blanks which scores six points for player two. When there is no group of touching rows in a burrow, the weasel scores just one point. Player one and player two both score one point for their second weasels. For each scoring domino, you score both the burrow and the weasel. To do so, you multiply the burrow point number by the weasel point number, and that gives you the total score for that domino. If you add up both dominoes, that's the score for that player for that round. Here, player one scored a six point burrow with a five point weasel. So six times five is 30, so they score 30 points for that one. And they scored a four point burrow with only a one point weasel, so that scores four points. So player one has 34 points. Player two had a six point burrow with a six point weasel for 36 points, and a six point burrow with a one point weasel for only six points. Adding that together gives them 42 points. So player two wins the game. Thank you for watching this video on how to play Weasel. There's a link in the description below both for the PDF rules and a downloadable playingcards.io file so you can play Weasel with your friends online. Let me know in the comments what you think or if you have any questions about the rules. I hope you enjoy.